Hey guys, what is up? Welcome your faces back to Builds. I want to thank you all again for the lovely support on the last part, which was great. You guys are really active and you seem to be enjoying the skyscrapers so far. I mean, why wouldn't you? This thing is looking utterly badass. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the outside stuff. So it's going to be like all around here. We're going to have the kind of stuff that, you know, makes the skyscraper not look like it's just been slapped down on a, <laughs> on a free land world. And hopefully, guys, if you're not building in a very strictly placed plot that was given to you or you took it, and this is like an, on a creative world or, you know, on your own city world in your like own single player world, then this is really going to become, you know, a huge, huge use to you. So guys, what I'm going to tell you now is what you need to do uh, for the platform because we actually got some really, really cool suggestions for this and it is looking pretty badass. So actually, let me get measurements, guys. I know, I know, I know. I muck up on measurements all the time. So we're going to come across one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is where we're going to be starting this. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I do seven, yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Let me just double check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cheeky. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna take uh we're gonna take you. We're gonna delete you. We're gonna get grass out, right? Because we need grass. You always need grass, guys, when building. Uh because you know mistakes are just so easily made. Uh what you're gonna wanna do is well you're gonna to want to just bring us back now two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think eleven should definitely be enough and guys you're gonna see what i'm doing because it may seem a tiny bit confusing right now but basically guys this is the entrance for what a subway would be so i just thought it would be a really nice little touch because if you think about it realistically guys um you know, like near all these big skyscrapers in the financial districts of cities, you know, people, you know, they have to go around the city a lot, you know, doing jobs and whatever, and they need good transportation. And a city, you don't really want to be, you know, driving a car, do you? Because your car could get smacked up pretty easily, you know, it's easy to crash, um, it's hectic, or, you know, why wouldn't you just go ahead and take the subway? That is exactly what New York City does. And from my work experience, I went there and studied architecture, which was really, really cool. And this is just one thing that I learned while I was out there, you know. Like transportation is, you know, everyone in the city while working uses a subway. It's so efficient, it's not generally late. Uh, and, you know, it's just an easy, cheap way of transportation. So let's just take a step back because it's not just that that has to look cool. It has to look right next to a skyscraper. So, you know what, for now it's looking pretty good. We're gonna make additional tweaks all the time, guys, so do not worry about a thing there. Um, what I'd say is, I'd say, actually, let's bring you up one, right? Uh, and there's gonna be a landscaping, there's gonna be height changes in the flooring. You know, we're gonna get into all that good stuff to give you guys a proper in-depth kind of view of this Let's Build. Of course, everything's hopefully gonna be explained well. Uh, I had to talk to some of my um, some of my viewers that watched some of my videos about 10 months ago where basically I just used to skip parts of Let's Build. So I, I literally, I was like building this up house from the Disney Pixar film. I think it is still the best up house, you know, on YouTube. So that's a pretty good achievement. I've got like 15,000 views, which is pretty insane. And you know what, guys, we're going to bring this back a few more, like one, two, three, four, five. And because it was the best one on YouTube, of course, then the views started to flood in, fans, I gained a lot of people off that, a lot of active subscribers, uh, until my laptop blew up, which is a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, you are not stone, cheeky, get out. Um, so that is what happened there. Um, and basically, I used to skip parts of my tutorials. I used to literally, I think I, I couldn't be bothered or something like that to do like really in-depth detail parts which is so unbelievably unprofessional i don't know what the hell was wrong with me but yeah i didn't used to do them so then loads of people were raging i was like sorry i was so crap at tutorials about them but hopefully guys if you are watching and you are them fans you can see that i'm a lot more professional now 
and I actually fulfill my last builds, which I should be teaching, right? Let's just get out um, some normal stone slabs, should do the job. There we go. Yeah, they just go nicely with stone, you know. I see this combination on the world of Kralis a lot where people build roads that slowly progress downwards and they just use stone and stone slabs, and it's a really nice combination. So we're going to bring it down to a time, it seems reasonable. Uh, let's just replace these and guys you will need to replace the sides coming down a bit soon because then you're going to hit that dirty dirt and once you hit that you know everything kind of looks crappy well yeah not sure but uh, that's just what happens so just delete all this grass all this grass here guys isn't actually needed of course because you know you don't send to see you know gigantic blocks of grass when you're entering the subway train and guys since we are playing on a single player world, uh, we will hit bedrock eventually, and because of that, um, now I'm going to have to stop the stairs, but I'm sure on your world, uh, if you decided to build this on default, you know, hopefully you have more space to build with. Eventually, this is going to be ending up on my friend's server, where, uh, you know, we're going to discuss whether we want to do interior or not for the let's build, because um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure yet. It's uh, you guys are giving me some really good response, which I really respect, and is giving me a lot of inspiration. Um, it's just the interior isn't just like a simple thing. It's 20 floors of eight block tall ceilings of complex details, and each individual floor will have to look different because if you have the same floor, it just looks so repetitive. And I know a few lazy people do that, but you know I don't want to do that. I want to make it look awesome if I am gonna do it. So yeah it's going to be a difficult job guys but you know hopefully the end result will be worth it let's just place you there so guys i think this is where this is going to come to an end just for me for you i would continue it going down and look on youtube uh, for a subway like a subway tutorial and you could have a subway circuit like all under here like tunnels it would take a lot of you know removing dirt but if you think about it, once you've completed all of it, you've got a skyscraper with a subway underneath. And if you want to check it out, guys, I do have a subway train tutorial, which is also the biggest subway train tutorial on YouTube, conveniently. Uh, so if you want to check that out, please do go ahead. It's a really cool train. I built it with my friend um, a few months ago now. But, you know, even till like today's expectations, because Minecraft's expectations for building is constantly going up. I mean, like, constantly. It's crazy, like, how you can look back on a build now that was six months old that left you mind blown to now, like, what the hell is that? That is literally the building community is advancing so quickly. Another thing is, guys, if you have not seen uh, mine and my friends, um, me and my friend Reese, did a video today also i think it might be classed as tomorrow i don't know guys my uploads have been a little bit late just late by the hour not by the day which is a great thing uh but that's just due to my mum's appalling upload speed i was at my dad's house before where we have the top virgin package so basically i have the best broadband speed that you can get you know for like a family home in england and it's as beautiful is it <laughs> it's literally the speeds it can upload like a four gigabyte file in like 10 minutes I was amazed the processing for that file took like 30 minutes yeah I was kind of expecting it to be a bit slow at that kind of size but guys that is going to be your subway tracks so you know it's going to look something like that and then all we're going to do is we're going to like add some little stone like features around here as well so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go one two Actually, you know, let's do this in force. Uh, that way it will just look a little bit more sleek and less compact. Oh yeah. Guys, if you have World Edit or you have someone in your server that you're building this on that has access to World Edit, you can actually stop glass panes from connecting up onto the actual slabs and, you know, whatever. It's a really cool, nice feature and it really does help. Like little things like that, attention to detail trust me over a long period of time will really really make a difference so the whole purpose of this is there's going to be a stairway up to like a new section of the build or you know whatever we got stuff planned and it's looking awesome you know what i think i'm going to go time set i found 6000 is actually an awesome not 600 what are you doing 
Right, 6000 is actually a really, really good time for Zeus Ultra, which is the uh, shaders mod that I'm running at this current moment in time. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know what? What do we think? 8 blocks? And guys, this may look semi dark, but you know, we have not. We're nowhere near done. This is going to probably be a big video to upload, but you know, it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. Get you sorted, and then we'll come across with you. Okay, guys, so you're just gonna copy this symmetrically because I do do stuff like this, and some people still get confused, which just you know really does blow my mind uh, how people get confused over this stuff. But when I'm building stuff like this, it's generally symmetrical, and uh, if you haven't realized that, you know. Uh, you may want to like you know, check your stuff because otherwise stuff is going to get confusing. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to replace all this grass instead with slabs because or stone, which would you know make it look a little bit bland. We're going to add a tiny bit of variation and go with that light grey stained clay. It looks good on most texture packs, which is a great thing about this material, and is why I used it for the majority of this build. And of course, we are going to use some slabs here again just to add a little bit more to what we have you did we do you we did do that hmm okay guys if you notice that you're very observant I accidentally that had put three slabs along instead of four did not notice that so this is actually going to be one longer there we go yeah it just happens sometimes little things but you know trial and error always can be fixed quite easily Bam, there we go, we're back to normal. Good job. Alright. So now what you can do is you do this. And I just think because you do have like uh not quartz stairs obviously in real life that would cost a fortune, but you do have like um white kind of stairs. You know, if you enter like a really modern building, of course this is all fresh new. We're not going for an ultra realistic look where this would be like all run down and like tatty. This is like a modern eco kind of awesome place so like you're gonna have like white stairs solar panels you know wind turbines maybe not wind turbines in a city that could be a bit weird but you know what i mean right we're going for that ultra eco look and guys the whole idea as well of uh, something else i have is to is to raise the back level to like around about this height that goes all the way around and it's gonna create a really really cool effect of course landscaping does need to be done obviously it's all going to be undone on camera if you guys you really are getting a tree here please do remember to like to hug that like button because the amount of time and effort i'm probably going to put into this video is going to be astonishing all right so as you can see you know it's starting to take shape now looking a little bit better and a little bit less out of place um and now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves out some more like gray stained clay and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on a sixth block, right around here, we're gonna start to make the borderline. So, hope I've been clear with measurements so far, guys. Remember to pause the video and have a look around if you ever do get confused. And if I don't count out block by block, which I know some people like me to do, I do tend to slow down. So, I'm gonna count out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? Let's just say we bring it to the other end of the build. That much be easier than me counting 70 old blocks. And that would also take a long time. And guys, we have to set in this off. Because although we're not in a plot server, you do have to think realistically. And, um, you know, skyscrapers don't, you know, landscape off into the distance. Uh, they do have boundaries. And right here, I'm planning to have a double, like, a double road. Uh, with a crossing, you know, cool lamp posts, like really modern ones. Haven't actually come up with a design for that yet, but you know, we can tweak stuff off camera until I finally find my, you know, coolest design in my opinion. And for now, guys, we're not sure on, you know, how much stuff's going to be over here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You know what? I think fifteen should definitely be enough. And this is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to, you know, fill because I can't get everything done off World Edit, of course, because, you know, uh, my friend helped me out do the World Edit last time around and he's like having a sleeping session at the moment because 
Uh, he goes to the same school as me, and school is pretty tiring at the moment, which sucks. Uh, right here. Actually, you know what? Why don't we use a different stone material? I'm just thinking because this uh, material is starting to look a tiny bit too repetitive. Why don't we go to use this? I don't usually use this as much because it's not quite as flush looking. But you know what? It will do, I guess. It will do. Yeah, do donkey. It will do. Uh, let's get a... What do we call it again? A cobblestone wall. That is what you want. And this is going to be our funky little lamppost design. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam. Let, let's have a look. Does that look... No, that, that looks respectable. I'm happy with it. Obviously, it's not done yet, guys. So if you're thinking, like, why have you stopped now? I have not. I'm going to bring out there, like, a Jesus cross. And then we're going to get beacons. Where are you? There you are. Hate it when Minecraft does that. Like you, you gotta play something and then it just it runs, it alleviates out of your inventory. Why don't we bring this out one more actually? Because I don't like having too many like joining items. If you have that kind of just like, messy and stupid, I'm just like, Ugh, what are you doing? And we'll remove the top part like that. You know what? We're gonna keep it simple for now. This may most likely change. But why don't we even try something else? Why don't we try that? I like the idea of it. It's kind of, it has, it has potential. It does. Uh, it needs a few additional tweaks. Why don't we try some light grey carpet? Guys, I really don't want to overshoot this video. So I don't know how many minutes have been going on now. But we've got to get a lot of stuff complete. You know what, that can actually work. Surprisingly, I'm happy with that and that will actually work. New designers lamppost as well, you know. Claim modern builds. Builds. Even. Modern builds was my last name. So get confused with that somehow. Right guys, so we are actually going to have a lot of grass in here. So that is going to be a great thing. And a good thing to add as well, because I used to literally just go around with buying mill and just, you know, place, 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 place. Uh, it's still a very, very legitimate way to deal with situations where you need landscaping. Uh, a very, very simple form factor, and you want to make a place look less, uh, less urban and more kind of, um, you call it again, more natural. So you can still do that kind of stuff, but that's, you know, it doesn't look amazing. What I like to do is get tall grass and place it like one block apart. You know, this probably will have its fault soon. Just like so, and as you can see already, it's starting to liven the place up. Um, so what we can do here is we're gonna have some slabs. If I just change the time once again, it's getting dark again. I swear we just change the time, uh, and we can just get some slabs here and just have it running up, you know, to uh, the pathway for the uh, edge of the road, where of course people can leave their office building, go across the street, get lunch, or you know whatever they want to do. Uh, we, I try and roleplay this situation as much as possible. Just by doing that, uh, your build will look more realistic. Come on, bat. Move out of the way. So where bats are eager. Like, I swear you get more of them on actual creative mode than you do on survival. Because if you build a big structure, oh, damn, I forgot to tell you guys that. Uh, you should m probably put some torches, glowstone, beacons, whatever. Just put a light source inside the room and try and get rid of most of the dark areas. Just do that on all 20 floors or how many floors you decided to build on because I did make this video partly um, customiz customizable. So I said, you know, some people aren't going to want to go play some 20 floors, of course. A lot of you don't have world edit at your access, which I'm fully aware of. Trust me, guys, I don't have it at my access either because it didn't want to work for me. And single player commands is an option, didn't work for me, apparently it's not available for 1.7 yet, some people have got it working, but you know, it's always confusing with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so it could work, I don't know guys, if it works for you, fantastic, go ahead and use it, it will really save you some time. If not, I can perfectly understand why you would make this skyscraper, you know, say 12 block 
no 12 floors not 12 blocks what am i saying uh, instead of you know 20 which is what i have it at the moment only due to world ellen so you know yeah this is going to be a big nice <laughs> wide uh, walkway which is going to um really make the building stand out and you know make it look a little bit more modern grand we're all going to keep it on the same level we may have material changes in the middle we could come up with some kind of funky cool pattern i have no idea guys you know we'll just we'll take a step back we'll have a look and if we like what we see we'll keep it the same just quickly delete that just a click is going for me at the moment all right there we go See, this is this is a prime example of where world edit you just uh, slash slash uh, replace air the whole place and you no longer have blocks you have a beautiful place of air and then you can just go set you know slabs world edit is amazing let's get rid of you all right there we go all good all good all good so guys what we're gonna do is now fill this all in I think we should have some tall grass, maybe some ferns actually, some tall ferns could look really tasty. And we just put them, you know, on this side of this pathway and it just kind of, it's not like a barrier either side because a barrier I personally think would look way too uh, constricting. Uh, I'd rather have ferns and natural t materials to kind of mark out, you know, this is where you should be walking. but not in a way that looks like you know walk here because we just want to keep that modern theme and also we don't want to make it you know look too unfriendly we want to also include a little bit of nature because like i said over there uh, it makes it look a little bit less urban with this whole modern appeal it links to the uh, like eco kind of modern because if you have the technology and the money to make a place like this why would you want to run it off fossil fuels when you can use it off free sustainable resources so look at that guys how does it look no it's taken shape and something's just indicated to me that this is going to take a lot longer than uh five episodes to do i'm thinking more like 10 it's not a bad thing it means that you guys can get more videos from me more frequent updates and it can be a cool little series that we can have on our channel i just uh have just experienced the amount of work that needs to be put into this skyscraper. It's definitely going to be exciting. So, every other block, guys, just place a fern. Oh, it lines up beautifully, all in line. That's awesome. You OCD people are going to be overjoyed. There we go. Well, and then you realize that you placed a fern there. Original, original me. <laughs> keep doing this kind of thing but I guess you know the fact that it being um, about 2 p.m. for me right now maybe taking a tour on a school day all right there we go double grass double grass double grass double grass double grass 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 and then the other side as you can see guys it kind of looks tropical and this place I sent to my friend uh, it really does look like a uh, Hawaiian Resort of Battlefield 4, but it's like a skyscraper, awesome modern version of their kind of, uh, their kind of like office-y apartment building. But I really do like it. Of course, it's different design and different architecture, but it's in a similar kind of style, which I really do like. Um, I guess we can have, we can have like a little seating area over here. So if we get some signs out, guys. This is just a great way, if you're ever building, this is just a little tip, and you come up with like an amazing idea, but you don't quite have the ideas for it yet. Uh, I always put a sign down, I would just put like seating area. Just drop that down to the level below, that way that it's not gonna go off the thing. Yeah, so we can have a seating area over here. Uh, we can have just some grass here, I think. Uh, what we can do is we can just get some normal grass we gotta make it look a little bit natural guys so just get some grass don't place it every single block you know kind of scatter it around a little bit not in an absolutely like insane fashion like just by randomly you know putting it awkwardly like everywhere just in a kind of natural way so don't place it every block leave leave like gaps uh, 
around don't leave too big gaps uh, you know you'll see what I mean when you look at mine like how it should look this is the idea we're going for and just by doing little things like this is a great way just to cover up some spare space as you can see just a great way to spare like get rid of some spare space and just um, fill it with a natural cool little look one thing that we can do over here though is uh, we could have like a little um, stone slab walkway up to maybe a side entrance I guess you know that can always work let's see so we'll say come in here and because that is one two so let me just change the time guys because that is one two three four we're going to want to make this four wide and then this four wide it would just make sense guys once we've built it all go just replace you and now guys we can get onto the placing to check how long this video is guys because we do not want to overshoot but hopefully you now we're getting a little bit of progress done we're getting some planning done you know we got a seating area over there planned because you gotta remember this is just the front of the wheel we still got to do both sides well that side over there so i take a little bit of shape still got to do this side but i'm going to keep this side a little bit more simplistic and then we got to do the back entrance so at the back entrance we could have like car park maybe um, of course some pathways leading out onto where the edge of the plot will be onto a double like a double carriage road so that can be all cool so I want to add some more lights around here using that same design just for the fact of um, we just needing more lighting around here especially when it gets dark there we go. So you can have like double doors here, you know, them big glass doors that you generally see in office buildings. And then guys, once again, just the uh, tall grass and fern technique. Of just guiding a pathway but not enforcing it. Because you know, if you put rails and stuff, it will look like... Um, kind of ruins the look for the build it looks way too like almost too formal which I personally don't really like I'd much rather have uh, well we want it to be serious in a formal kind of way because it is obviously going to have like businesses and, and stuff but we don't want to make it look in a formal way where it looks like a police station for example There we go. All cool. And the other amazing thing that I forgot to mention is so many of you are actually building this. And um, that is actually a really cool thing, uh, especially for me, because a lot of people, including myself, including most of you guys that are watching up to this point, just watch Let's Builds because you want to see, you know, you want to see how a build progresses, you want to see the end result. And you know, you just generally want to see the progress of build. You don't really take consideration into building it. You know, you just want to see, you know, how cool this build's going to turn out. And that's generally the response for most people. But um, the fact that people are actually taking their time uh, to place every block and make this, I really can appreciate, guys. And I want to thank you for that. It's really, really cool. And it's cool to have such an active. Uh, such an active like little fan base that we have going on in the building community you know it's not easy in the building community uh, compared to like I've been watching so many like PVPers recently and so I see guys with like a thousand subs and they they're getting like 60 likes on an average survival games video I was so like, whoa that's insane you know because I'm at, I'm at like 2200 here getting like 25 likes a video it's insane how popular other fan bases are and within the game of minecraft but you know minecraft is such an awesome game all right guys so if you haven't noticed already the two blocks that we are deleting all the way down here and you know what we should probably scale the whole area of the build that we want to build in 
this is going to be the pavement because you know pavements obviously they can't be um, just one thickness that would be ridiculous it'd be like stepping on a little ledge with you know cars speeding past you at 50 miles an hour once again we're role playing this situation also adds a bit more uh, purpose and makes the build stand out a little bit more you know you have a three wide pavement in front of the build you know you know it kind of indicates you this build is important you know there's going to be a lot of people there and uh, they're going to need a lot of space to step on and especially in this like light gray stained clay material it looks really flush modern and just goes with the flow Almost there, we must be. It's like a marathon place in here. Yeah, so if we take a little step back. Yes, boy. Taking shape. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to just go check the time now to check if we have an overshot. And I'll meet you guys back in a second. Please don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so it turns out it's coming to the end of the video. It's been 30 minutes. So, what we are going to do in the next part, I just want to keep you guys updated because you know. It may not seem like a gigantic deal that we got our subway walkway done out, and of course we're gonna have like a, we're gonna have this continuing on to the pathway to the back of the build. Uh, we got a little walkway here, which is probably gonna go around the build, and then we're gonna extend this all the way around. So we got all of this stuff planned, and we got a main entrance. We got a little grass area. We can have a few vending machines out the side. You know, that'd be a really cool little touch. But, you know, this is all the planning, little exterior touches of the build that really does make it, you know, pop and stand out. Because one thing is the build, the exterior of the build is another. So I want to thank you all so much for uh, watching the video. Be sure to drop a like. I mean, I put a lot of time into these videos. Uh, the rendering takes like one and a half hours. The compressing takes like 20 minutes. And then the upload for me at the moment, I don't even want to think about how long that's going to take. But you know what, I do it because I like it and you guys are awesome. So thank you once again so much for liking. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys, of course, in part three. See you guys there.